My name is Jasmine Matthews, and I went on the Dominican Republic music trip. I'm Trey Elliott, and I served in Wilmington, Delaware with Urban Promise. I think the most impactful moment was going into our first ministry site. It was a middle school, and we had gone in kind of with the Lord putting it on our hearts to go after healing that day. And so we went to the school, we preached the gospel, we shared some personal testimonies, we worshiped with them. And at the end of preaching the gospel, we were like, hey, Jesus loves to heal. And he didn't just die for your sins, but he also died for your healing. And so if anyone wants prayer, we'd love to pray for you. And it was a middle school, so they all kind of just like blankly stared at us. Um, but then one girl came up. Up and our team prayed for her and she was instantly healed and started freaking out. And so then like half the school flooded the front. They're like, we want you to pray for us. And I remember that day, the third person that I prayed for, she came up to me and the translator said that she had scoliosis. And instantly I just started to feel kind of nervous because I was like, I've never prayed for this before. But in that moment, the Lord was like, Jasmine, this is so easy for me. This is no big deal. Pray for her. And so I prayed for her and I heard this loud crack and she went, oh my gosh, oh my gosh and um in that moment all of the pain that she had been experiencing from scoliosis was instantly gone and she was rejoicing because she knew the lord was real and that he loved her and so she went back to her seat and we continued to pray for people that day but it was so awesome just to see god be so ready to move in people's hearts and in their lives and that day we saw 23 people healed in that ministry site and over the course of our trip we saw over 100 people be healed and so it was just really really cool to see the lord move in that way yeah, it was so amazing. We had time to really pour into the urban community there. Um, a lot of students, a lot of tutoring, a lot of mentoring, a lot of just encouraging a lot of students and young adults. And it was just amazing to really just see uh, the transformation in their lives and what Urban Promise is doing in those students' lives. It was really amazing. Yes, our amazing contact, Deborah. We really just, we <laughs> did a lot. Um, the list goes on, but the things I really remember us doing is singing to, singing to her every day. She got in the van. We had a song for her. Um, we poured into her. We prayed for her. We cooked for her. We took her out to to get ice cream. We really just invested and took time to really ask her, what does it look like to serve you in this season and not just you know, come up with our own ways to pour into her, but really stopped and really chose to ask her, how can we serve you? How can we love you? And it was just really amazing. And now we have a lifelong friend um, because of just the relationship that we built with her. With her.